Well, that's part two. Um, made a massive schoolboy error. Set all the camera up to film, taking the engine out of the Lexus, and forgot to press the record button. Oh well. So now it's out. Uh, it's there. Just going to get some uh, gearbox longer bolts so I can mount it on the um, engine stand. And then we'll start to strip it down. I've just done a, a check on the flywheel because obviously I'm not keeping the automatic. I got hold of a, a manual flywheel some years ago. Long story to that, but I still kept it. And I'll show you now. Okay, there's the flywheel off the automatic. And this is the one I possessed some years ago. It's about one millimeter in a different position to the automatic. So what I'm gonna actually gonna do is locate the starter wires and operate that and see if we can actually get it to spin and engage correctly. See you until next time. Okay, um, remove the aftermarket flywheel, uh, change my plan, just decided to remove and slacken some of all these bolts, I earth bolts, anything that needs to be gained access so I can get it ready for mounting on the engine stand. I'm also removing this heat shield off the exhaust, same for the other side. Obviously this one, I've got to take off this oil pipe and get that out of the way. Um, I'll leave the exhaust manifold on for a bit because obviously once I've stripped a few more parts off uh, get it good old jet wash, get it cleaned out. Um, must remember, please subscribe.